man, there's a part of me that kind of wants to keep this set like all the time. <laughs> Or maybe even like change it around. I don't know. It's kind of cool though. I still like it. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Justin and today we're listening to Kate Bush with two songs. We're going to listen to Between a Man and a Woman followed by Never Be Mine off of her album The Sensual World. Ooh. Uh, released in 1989. Hope that you guys are having a fantastic day. Uh, for my recording session, I'm only doing these two songs, so I said, you know what? I'm gonna wear one of my uh, nicer long sleeve shirts that I don't get to wear too often, because this room gets really hot. So I try to wear, <laughs> I try to try to wear like short sleeves and uh, hey, sometimes no pants. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, regardless, I hope that you guys are having a fantastic day. You can join me on Twitter. Join me in the comments down below. Let's do it. This is Kate Bush with Between a Man and a Woman, followed by Never Be Mine.
simply beautiful. It's simply Kate. If there was a perfume or a makeup line, it's simply Kate. It's beautiful. You know what you're getting out of it. Um, I actually want to talk about the second song first, uh, Never Be Mine. I find that that was a perfect follow-up after Between a Man and a Woman because A Man and a Woman was such a dense and another like thick fog of a song. Like There was just so much going on. It's densely packed. And then afterwards, all the space that's left in, uh, in Never Be Mine it's so relieving. It's so beautiful how the song opens up. It really opens up like a blossom, uh, not just a blossom that she's holding in front of her face, but like a blossom of a song. I like all the space that's given. Uh, piano, of course, is driving the song, but it's the things that are done around the piano, which are the harmonies, um, the very simple percussion, the bagpipes, which are actually, I believe they're called Eulean pipes, Eulean pipes, something like that, which is really cool to see how she brings in these, uh, these heritage uh, items, unique cultural ideas from other places. But it's really nice to see all of these different influences into what I would describe as like a little bit of like a world music, new age kind of sound, uh, kind of steering away from the art pop that I heard before with Hounds of Love. But regardless, it's simply Kate. It's always good. As always, the production as well stands out a lot to me uh, listening to this album. From, like I said, the deep depths of percussion and of atmosphere, such as in the previous song, uh, to the way that it opens up here and allows for a lot more space to be kind of breathed. And the music and the instruments themselves can really be felt in their individuality. And you can see how each one in their individuality comes together to create the sound that is Simply Kate's. That's going to be my new phrase for Kate Bush. Simply Kate's. I like it. It says everything that you need to say. Also on this song, we have the bassist Eberhard Weber, who, if you guys have remember, and if I'm remembering correctly, last played of Kate's on Hounds of Love on Mother Stands for Comfort, which you guys remember, that was one of the standouts on that song was the bass playing. And here it's no different. It's so warm. It's touch. It's <laughs> touching. It's warm. It's touching. It's a little bit sensual. I love it. Kate's singing is, as always, full of passion, and she just has one of those unique voices that even if she doesn't push her actual singing ability, you can still feel every single ounce of emotion in the way that she sings. But when she does decide to push, like you can really feel it. It really hits hard, and it hits home. Between a Man and a Woman is a little bit more straightforward musically, but I also feel that this is one of the vocal standouts that I've heard so far in the album. Ooh. I like the little bit of bite that she has in her voice when she shrieks that. I mean, it's actually more than bite. It's like, it's like just straight chomping down. But that along with the guitar that you hear pick up every once in a while, it adds a nice sharp edge to this really nice song. Let's talk about the lyrics though. Uh, first between a man and a woman. With her hand in his hand, we were both happy again. You started taking sides, they started arguing. He said it was her fault, she said it wasn't at all. But the truth lies somewhere in the middle. There's always three sides to the story, right? What he says, what she says, then the truth. Where angels fear to tread, you go rushing in. Well, I had to tell you then, and now I'm telling you again. Stay out of this, you must not interfere. Don't you see this is between a man and a woman. Listen, you see a couple arguing, discussing, handling things, you don't get in between that. Unless it's like, you know, it's getting to a certain point, but like, you know what I mean, like you don't get in between that. I love, how the line says where angels fear to tread. <laughs> like, even an angel wouldn't go into, in between that and get in between a man and woo. Every day and night I pray, pray that you will stay away forever. It's so hard for love to stay together with the modern Western pressures. Ooh. I don't want to say it, but I had to tell you then, and now I'm telling you again, which repeats the chorus. Um, and I know you've got good intentions, but stay out of this. It's not your problem. Don't interfere. Let the pendulum swing between a man and a woman. Don't you see you're in the way? <laughs> So being a man and a woman, just, just mind your business sometimes. <laughs> it's like when you were a kid, this is just what I remember. It's like when you were a kid and you went to your friend's house and while you're at your friend's house, it's like how uh, maybe one day like your friend got in trouble and the parents were yelling at your friend and you're just kind of sitting there awkwardly like, uh, looking at the next song, Never Be Mine, I look at you and see my life that might have been. Your face just ghostly in the smoke, they're setting fire to the cornfields. As you're taking me home, the smell of burning fields will now mean you and here. And this is where I want to be, and this is what I need, and this is where I want to be, and this is what I need. This is where I want to be, but I know that this will never be mine. So I'm kind of getting an idea of possibly regretting uh, not following a certain relationship or not going through with a certain relationship, but perhaps in the same sense, kind of happy 
that she didn't because she talks about him setting fire to cornfields. You're taking me home. The smell of burning fields will now mean you in here. I see burning cornfields as not a good thing. <laughs> that doesn't sound like uh, something good. That's like you're blazing the trail behind you, but you're destroying the things that were behind you. So maybe in some capacity, she regrets not going along with this person and being in a relationship with them. But on the other hand, maybe she sees that it could have been for the best. I want you as the dream, not the reality. That clumsy goodbye kiss could fool me, but looking back over my shoulder, at you happy without me. So I'm definitely kind of getting what I just said. You know, I want you as the dream, not the reality. Sometimes the dream is better than actually having uh, whatever that dream is. I like that line, the clumsy goodbye kiss could fool me. Like, it, you know, that could have fooled her into like wanting to really be with this person, but nope, she, she's not gonna do it. Oh, the thrill and the hurting will never be mine. The thrill and the hurting. This is what I want. It will never be. Oh, it can never be. The thrill and the hurting will never be mine. So acknowledging that maybe she did want to be in a relationship with this person, but also acknowledging that it may not have been for the best, even though she still kind of wants it. It's a really nice kind of like back and forth that's going on with her soul, like a little tugging, a little tug of war back and forth that she wants this, but she knows it's not good for her, but it's not good for her and she kind of wants it. So that's a nice kind of tug of war uh, within Kate's soul. Anyways, I would love to know what you guys thought of these songs. You could join me on Twitter. You can join me in the comments down below. I hope that you're having a beautiful day and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.